I'm going to show you how to connect a MIDI keyboard to another MIDI device, in this case a sound module. Mine is called the Emu Proteus 2000. Of course you need a, a MIDI keyboard, a MIDI cable and a MIDI device. Okay, here we're connecting the keyboard. We've got the MIDI out of the keyboard. Just need to check which way the connections go. So MIDI out one side, and then if we go to the other side, uh, the sound module, we want that to be MIDI in. So playing from the keyboard, to the sound module. Now I've already connected the speaker to the sound module. I've turned the volume down on my keyboard. I've turned it right down. And so we're only taking the sound from the module. So that's working fine. If, if I turn the sound down from the sound module and turn the volume up on the piano. So that's the sound coming from the piano. And turn the sound up from the sound module. And so we got two sets of sounds. Another device we can introduce into the MIDI connection is this box which allows you, because it has a, a USB interface here, it allows you to connect it to a computer. It's also got an A and a B side for the MIDI and, and that allows you to connect rather than just to one MIDI device you can connect to two and it's especially useful if you connect it with a with a computer and you can send the signal through the computer to different devices if you so choose okay so I'm going to show you how to connect this up and we can connect it that's the input we can connect the input and then the output, A, going to the sound module, and, and that should work. Let's try it. So we've connected the output from the keyboard, the MIDI out, to the MIDI in of the M-Audio MIDI Sports 2x2, this device here. And then we've got the MIDI out on port A, because I've used port A for the input, so port A for the output. Go into the input of the sound module and it's working. The thing about this device though is that there is a switch. Uh, when the switch is in it doesn't seem to work. When the switch is out it works in passive mode. Now the purpose of this particular switch is to activate the USB merge. So that allows us to connect a, a USB a USB connection to the device and that will link that will link to the computer and then the computer will manage how the outputs are selected. I've now connected the M Audio MIDI Sports 2x2 uh, with a USB cable to a laptop. Not a particularly powerful laptop. It's a Celeron M running Windows XP. Also it shows that once the USB is connected then there is a power light. These lights should also, these lights here should also light up, but they won't be activated until 
a host program is running. You can use programs like Cubase, Cakewalk, Reason. Those are some of the programs that I'm acquainted with. I I use Energy XT. So I'm going to open that up. And as I open it up, hopefully you'll see the lights on the device start to come on. So I've got a signal. Now as I'm pressing the key, it should flicker a little bit more, as you can see. Okay, so this is my host program, Energy XT. And you can run a lot of VST plugins on this. I don't actually need a VST instrument. What I need is a VST um, MIDI mapper. And that will do me because I'm running an, a hardware device. In Energy XT, you should be aware that you need to set up your MIDI and make sure your MIDI device is has the correct drivers installed. Um, the MIDI device for this particular program will be related to the M Audio. So I've installed MIDI drivers for the M Audio, MIDI Sport, and Eversive Edition in this particular case. And it's come up on the screen. I don't know if you can see that, but it's come up on the screen M Audio. 2x2 two two anniversary. So that's all correct. And also in the audio, I've got my ASIO drivers. I've actually got two sets of ASIO drivers. Uh, I've got two sets because I, I sometimes use this, which is the M Audio Transit, and that's a USB audio card. And your computer may have a good audio card in it or it may not and if you find that you're getting low late well you're not getting a good response from the keyboard and that's called high latency and when I say high latency that's to do with when you press the key and if there's a delay in the sound or if the sound is distorted then that's a poor quality audio card it's not a low latency audio card the way you can get around this is that you can use a device like this, an external sound card in effect. Plug it into a USB, uh, take the out output from the headphone socket and you, you should find, or at least have found in this particular case, that I've got a really good result with the latest drivers installed. I've got zero latency so my keyboard response is really good. Now that I've connected the computer to the MIDI device, all I need to do is link up the MIDI devices through the software. So I'm simply going to take the MIDI in. I'm using the module modular system on the Energy XT. I'm going to take the MIDI in and link it directly to the output. And that gives me, as you see, that shows the input is working on the software and as I'm playing on the keyboard then I'm getting I'm getting sound and this sound is coming directly from from this module device as you can see when I turn the sound volume up and down so just to make sure when you do connect your computer, you need to check your setup and look for under audio and the ASIO device. You need to make sure that's all set up. And also your MIDI device, make sure you got your your input set. You don't nest well you do in this case need an output set for this, which is the output to the sound module but a lot of the time if you're using just a software synthesizer you wouldn't necessarily need an output and then 
this little window here is part of the ASIO for all and that allows me to change if I need to change the the latency setting but with it being a, a hardware synthesizer that I'm playing um, the latency isn't doesn't really matter in this case because it's not computer generated so everything seems to be okay if there is any latency then it's probably something to do with a driver or you got two devices running and you need to turn one of them off